People always ask me, do you need a good PC to edit videos? In which I replied, yes. That was my mindset for a couple of years being stuck with a laptop with a Core i3 processor and a Radeon's graphics card. It was my sort of standard for video editing. I thought that without the specifications, you can't edit at all. Until one day, I tried to open up my Dell Optiplex 755 with a 10-year-old Pentium processor and DDR2 RAM. I have doubts on this computer since it only has such low specs to serve my standards on editing. But let's see how this desktop performs in editing Kabita Tech videos in 2017. I'm John Villareba and let's start a video. The Optiplex 755 is an entry-level office desktop from Dell from 2008 that only aims to finish spreadsheets and not to render 1080p videos. Well, that's what it tells me since it only has a Pentium E2180 processor and only 6 gigs of DDR2 memory and a whopping 80 gigs of WD Kabilar Bridge storage. I had low expectation on this desktop since of the specs mentioned, but what struck me the most is when I started to edit my videos on here. Literally, all of my videos starting from the Zenfone Go 5 Lite review were edited here on the Optiplex. Don't believe me? I have all the files and the assets on the hard drive of this computer with the respected project files. But this is more of a comprehensive benchmark if this can edit smoothly. By smoothly, I mean the fluid scrolls in the timeline in 720p and 1080p videos in Premiere Pro. To test the editing and rendering performance of the Optiplex 755, I need to have a basis. Luckily, I have my Lenovo G4070, which is my main machine, which has a Core i3-4030U, 4 gigs of RAM, and a Radeon R5 N230 graphics card. These two videos consist of the 1080p 30fps video from the Huawei GR3 review. It was a 3.51 minute video. And the other one is a 720p at 30 fps video, which was a Zenfone Live review, which, which was almost 5 minutes long. Let's start with the Dell Optiplex. It stutters on 1080p full playback but crank that down to one fourth resolution and can surely edit smoothly. Render times is quite long as it took 11 minutes to finish to render a 4 minute 1080p video. Compare that to the Lenovo 6 minute and 30 second leap on the same video plus you can edit smoothly on one half resolution. Keep in mind this was rendered in medium bitrate. Secondly, the 720p test. Again, the Lenovo leaps ahead on a render times averaging around 4 minutes and 12 seconds only at an almost 5 minute video and it can be played back at full resolution with no stutter but the Dell's fighting back averaging around 8 minutes and 33 seconds on the same video and likewise it can also be played back at full resolution. Notice something? Over the course of 10 years, Intel has improved a lot on their performance of their computer chips. But in conclusion, the answer is yes. You can edit on a Pentium 10 years old from now. But if you want the best performance, then no. If you just want to casually edit 720p videos, then go. You can do it. But if you're on a high production, then it's a no-brainer. Don't use this as your main editing machine. I was astounded with the performance of this computer, and this survived Casey Neistat's famous quote, which was, gear doesn't matter. Well, that's about it guys, thanks for watching, I hope you learned something today, I'm John Villanueva, and I'll see you on the next video.